and with us now Dr. Ahmad Asfour, Assistant Professor of Cardiology in Asrinaini. Hi, how are you doctor? Hi, how are you? Fine. Uh, what's your first impression about CardioAlex this year? Well, this is like uh, my fifth time to attend the CardioAlex. I've uh, been a regular member, regular faculty member here in CardioAlex for the last five years. Uh, well, I think CardioAlex now is the biggest international cardiology conference in Egypt or like we can say head to head with uh, Cardio Egypt. Um, a lots of experience with uh, foreigner international experts, uh, big attendance for the young fellows, uh, many workshops, uh, uh, state of art techniques usually described here first in Cardio Alex. I'm, 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 I'm so happy to be here every year and I think I will be here next year too. Inshallah. Uh, what are you going to present this year? Well, I have uh, lots of presentations this year. I have like four presentations. Um, I have a left main intervention case that I'm going to uh, present in the nightmares. And I have four other presentations, mainly about imaging, cardiac MRI, and CT. I uh, will talk to the, uh, today about right ventricular function by cardiac MRI, how cardiac MRI would add to the uh, RV assessment. I will talk about the role of cardiac MRI in uh, viability assessment of scars of uh, myocardium. Uh, I think I have another presentation about, uh, yes, I have a cardio Alex quizzes. Uh, I have a quiz for the young fellows, uh, I think uh, on Thursday morning. Uh, it's a small session interactive with the fellows. Okay, can you talk about left main coronary artery disease? Yes, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, so uh, yes, my case uh, is about left main intervention. Um, left main intervention has a big debate in the literature uh, recently whether to do uh, coronary artery bypass or stenting. Uh, stenting is now as, uh, as a favorable technique for most of cardiologists. It's demanding, it needs a lot of skills um, because uh, we used to send these patients to surgery, but now stenting has. Um, has uh, improved results uh, in recent trials. Uh, usually it needs some skills and bifurcation techniques that I will explain in my uh, uh, lecture today. Uh, please try to attend it. Okay. Um, what about the dual source computer tomogra tomography, tomography for evaluating? Well, um, yes, that's, that's a hot topic now in the cardiac imaging. Uh, 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 the role of the CT in congenital heart disease patients, it's evolving. Uh, it gives superior details when we used to do it with uh, angiography in the previous decade. Now the dual source CT give us the whole image with fine anatomical details uh, without needing to uh, go to the catheterization, which is obviously invasive regarding uh, uh, that most of the cases are children and you want to do minimal invasive uh, techniques for the diagnosis. Um, I will talk about the triple rule out in one of my sessions, which is a new technique that you can in the ER department exclude coronary diseases, exclude uh, coronary artery disease, and the same excluding the pulmonary artery disease in one session. Um, single ventricle is, um, is a hot topic in the pediatric cardiology. Uh, not well advanced uh, management here in Egypt, but outside they, had, they have plenty of surgeries that can help these children early in their like, life, in the first month of their life. Uh, I will talk about this also in one of my sessions, uh, the role of CT in these patients. Okay, thanks a lot, doctor. Thank it was you. Nice to meet you today. It was a pleasure for me. Thank you. Thank you.